What is up, super fans? I'm Matt Stockholm, and this is another edition of the Quantum Corner. Do you like superhero movies, TV shows, comics, and toys? Well, then the Quantum Corner is the place for you. Please consider subscribing to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and your comments and feedback down below are always appreciated. If you do all three, that will instantly qualify you for our giveaways, which I will talk more about at the end of the video. So stay tuned. What is up, super fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of the Quantum Corner. For today's video, it is Wednesday, October 23rd, 2019. And yes, that means it's time for the weekly TQC comic book pull list. That's where I talk about the comics that I'm pulling this week and also sometimes talk about previous weeks as well as future and upcoming comics as well. So it's a really good way to stay connected with what's going on in the world of Marvel and DC Comics. So with all that being said, let's get into this week's polls. Okay, first off, DC book, Thomas, Tomasi and Monarchy. This is Year of the Villain, Doom Rising, Detective Comics. Number 1014. So pretty cool variant cover here. Check that out. This has been a really good series. I definitely like what Tomasi's doing with the Batman storyline. Um, in the beginning I was a little iffy on it, but as the more I've gotten into it, um, I've really, really liked it. Now I definitely anticipate it when it's coming out. So definitely a good one to read. Next, Batman Superman number three by Williamson and Marquez. And this is the deceased variant cover. So it's not deceased, but it's a deceased variant. I had another one like these for, uh, I think it was Detective Comics last week, maybe. Uh, pretty cool. I like those deceased covers. This has been another really good story. Kind of takes off from the end of The Batman Who Laughs. Um, it's been really good. I really liked it. Uh, so definitely, if you're into Batman, Superman, definitely check it out. Okay getting into it all right now oh you know what I realized <laughs> I thought this was something else and I grabbed it by mistake but that's okay year of the villain doom rising justice league dark number 16 by Tinian and Martinez yeah I actually was thinking that was the regular justice league book when it was in my stack and they'll occasionally throw other stuff in there which I've heard good things about this justice league dark I've actually heard pretty good things about it so I'll keep this tie and check it out and maybe if I like it I'll maybe continue getting more of them a lot of people raved about the dark series some people are more high on that than the actual Justice League series which I do like Snyder's writing it and I actually do like it so okay next this is a really really good one Sean Murphy Matt Hollingsworth Batman curse of the white knight gotta love that uh, Batgirl cover there that's pretty sweet there was one with Alfred, a variant cover I was looking for, but I did not see it, so I was a little bummed about that. But that's still a pretty cool cover anyways. And then last but not least, Wonder Woman number 81 by Wilson and Durernick. And check this out. As I've said before, my wife is a big Wonder Woman fan. She loves Cheetah as well. So that is a really cool cover. I know she's going to really dig that. I pretty much pull these for her, but I also read them too, and the Wonder Woman series has been really good. I've really liked the Year of the Villain stuff uh, for DC as well. So that's it for my DC polls. Now let's get into the Marvel books. Okay, my favorite superhero, my favorite Avenger, gotta have Tony Stark Iron Man. This is number 17 by Slot and Cage, and this is getting to the big showdown. The Ultron Pym Showdown. So this has been another pretty cool series. I'm not always one who's real big into some of the individual series. I like more of the group stuff, team stuff. But uh, I've got to have Iron Man. He's my favorite character. And this has actually been pretty good. I, I, I've, I've enjoyed it for sure. Okay, next, my favorite team. <laughs> one of my favorite writers. This is Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Avengers number 25, Challenge of Ghost Riders Finale. And this is by Jason Aaron. 
I really like Jason Aaron's Avengers stuff. I really like a lot of stuff he's... I got another one here, it's by Jason Aaron, I'm going to show in a few minutes, but really, really becoming one of my very, one of my top favorite writers. Okay, next, Absolute Carnage Lethal Protectors, number three, by Thierry and Flaviano. Another one of the Absolute Carnage tie-ins, there was like four of them, I think, last week. Um, so there's been quite a few, but nothing compared to like War of the Realms, but solid series i definitely like the main title and most of the times are pretty good too so not perfect like i said not everything i've read have i loved but it's been pretty good okay now let's talk about that jason aaron again and this is going to be his conclusion uh, he's been writing thor for some years now uh, so this is the concluding series and this is king thor number two by aaron and ribbick number one was awesome there was a nice surprise at the end. I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't read it, but definitely check out uh, Old King Thor. This is a really, or sorry, King Thor. A uh, really, really good storyline and culmination of all Jason Aaron's work for Thor. Okay, next. Amazing Spider-Man number 32 by Spencer and Gleason and Wilson. Another series I like a lot. Uh, Spencer is definitely an underrated writer. Uh, I really liked when he did the Hunted series for this, and I've, I've definitely enjoyed the Amazing Spider-Man series ongoing, so it's been a really good one. 2099 uh, event is coming up, so that'll be really cool, where Spider-Man 2099 is going to tie into a lot of the Marvel Universe. And then this was kind of a specialty Spider-Man thing today. This is Amazing Spider-Man Full Circle number one, and it's got a bunch of people working on it. Jonathan Hickman... Uh, Chris Bacciallo, Jerry Dugan, Greg Smallwood, Nick Spencer, Mike Aldred, Kelly Thompson, Valero Sheedy, Al Ewan, Chris Sprouse, Chip Zdarsky, Rachel Stock, Jason Aaron, Cameron Stewart, and Mark Bagley. So combined efforts of a lot of great people, great writers and artists. So this should be really cool. This was a $10 cover price, so it's definitely a thicker book. So for paying $10, bucks, i am hoping it's well worth it. And then last but not least, not <laughs> one of the big ones coming out recently of this new uh, X, Dawn of X series. So um, last week, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, was the first uh, release X-Men title, the Dawn of X, X-Men number one. And so this is Jerry Dugan and Matteo Lali in Marauders number one. So this is all being overseen by Hickman, even though some of the writers that are working on the stuff, it's not uh, Hickman, but uh, he's definitely overseeing all this. So I'm still excited to see how all these X-Men titles are gonna go. I was a little disappointed he didn't have any variants for me for this, and I was lucky to get one copy. I really usually at least get a couple, and that was all that was left. Everything else was sold out. So it's been, the X-Men stuff has been super popular since Hickman's taken over. Um, I'm really excited with it. And I'm curious to see how Jerry Dugan does with this uh, series. And along with getting the comic, you actually got this, I don't know if everybody did, but this set of X-Men kind of like trading cards. This one says Excalibur on the front, and then you can see some of the Krakoa language on the back. So kind of a cool little thing to get for getting the comic book. I thought it was kind of cool. And I don't know exactly, there's a few of them in there, a little stack, maybe eight or ten. And that is it, guys. That is the pull list for this week. So definitely let me know what you guys thought. Did you like the stuff I pulled? Uh, what kind of things were you looking forward to? What things did you like? What things didn't you like? Always appreciate your guys' feedback. As always, don't forget, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below. If you do all three, that will instantly qualify you for our giveaways. Our next poster giveaway is going to be at 300 subscribers, and our 1K subs giveaway is going to be the Marvel Legends Nanotech Gauntlet. So keep watching, keep sharing, keep paying attention, guys. Also, don't forget, check out my social media links and check out the awesome comic book and MCU and DCAU-based content in those Facebook groups. Awesome groups, awesome place to meet other fans and other friends. So very, very cool. So that's it, guys. For the Quantum Corner, I'm Matt Stockholm saying, stay super, everybody. Thanks, guys.